Hey everyone, so today we're going to take a look at Peak Design's Everyday Backpack V2. Oh wait, no, that's, this is the real one. Okay, so this is the 20 liter Peak Design Everyday Backpack version 2 and it's in charcoal color. So I'm gonna quickly go over the backpack uh, just to show you guys some of the features. If you've seen Peak Design's backpack before, it's pretty similar, uh, but their key features are easy side access. So you've got these zips on the side and you can just flip it up and get to all the contents inside and you can access it on both ends. So the zip opens up like this and you can basically see right through the bag. And another key feature they have is that they have these compartments down in the middle so you can using the velcro you can actually un, un velcro these and move them around and create your own compartments uh, once you have your compartments you can actually fold these up and down to create other compartments inside so if you do have you know fragile equipment you can just create a little compartment just for that in here and on the top we have the mag latch system so this thing here you basically have to lift it up a little bit and then you pull down and then this whole top section opens up like this. So the whole bag is basically wide open now with all those bags, all those flaps open. So what I'm gonna focus on in this video is the differences between the V1 and the V2 and whether or not it's worth upgrading if you have a V1. Okay, here we go. We have the V1 on the left and then we have the V2 on the right. And let's start off with the exterior appearance. So straight up, uh, you can see that the V2 is more round, maybe slightly cleaner design. Uh, and the V1 is more rectangular, it's got more angles to it, and it's got some red accents as well. So the V2, there's these leather accents, so the handle itself is also a leather accent, whereas the uh, V1 is mostly black and, and red. Now, this is also charcoal, so the new charcoal looks a little bit lighter and it's kind of got like a bluish tint to it. Uh, it's definitely not as dark as the, the previous charcoal in, on the V1. The hardware is also a bit different, so this is silver. This is like a darker gunmetal kind of silver. I'm not sure if this will scratch, uh, but it's not black. It's definitely a gray color. All right, so going around the sides, we have the side compartments. So this is for like a water bottle or for like a tripod. And the first thing I noticed was this is actually a bit higher. So it's a little bit deeper. So you're able to maybe secure a tripod a little bit better because you have a bit more travel going down here. Same thing on the other side. So this is again, a little bit deeper. The handle on the top has been redesigned. So this handle goes across the entire top like this. Whereas the previous one, the handle was attached at the back. On the bottom of the V1, there was a reflective strip. So if you are like a, a cyclist, uh, when you have this backpack on your back, this strip uh, would reflect, you know, other you know car lights or other headlamps, uh, and then you know let people know that you're there. On the V2, this is actually missing. So on the bottom of the V2, it's nothing. It's just a blank bottom. Uh, so if you are interested in using this for cycling and you are, you know, concerned about, you know, being seen, maybe the V1's a bit better because there is a reflective stripe, whereas the V2 doesn't have it. On the V2, they've also changed their little hooks on the bottom. So it's more like a, a rounded rope type of hook loop system, whereas on the V1, uh, it's kind of like a flat, maybe like a ribbon-ish type hook or, or loop. So again, not major functionality difference, but just some cosmetic stuff at the bottom there. This applies to all the loops around the bag. All right, moving around to the back of the bag, so the V1 on the left here, you'll notice that the straps on the back of the V1 kind of just dangle around and, you know, freely. Whereas the one on the right, the, the V2, they're actually magnetically secured to the back. So if you do have your bag just standing upright like this, the straps won't go flapping around, um, they actually are attached magnetically like this. So it's nice, it keeps it nice and clean. I mean, I don't think it's that functional, but it's nice to have. I mean, whenever you have magnets, it's great. So while we're on the back of the bag, 
There is a luggage pass-through on both of these, so on the V1 and on the V2. On the V1, the luggage pass-through is behind this padded area and it's held down by Velcro. So if I pull it apart, you hear that, there's a Velcro. And you can actually pop this onto your luggage. So maybe you can, the handle will go up through here so that you can, you know, roll your luggage while this backpack is sitting, you know, horizontally on your top of the luggage. Now on the V2, it's a little bit different. Again, it's still in the padded area, but instead of Velcro, it's held down magnetically, which is much nicer. So you can just very easily pop that open and put it on top of your luggage. Another key difference I found between the V1 and the V2 is the hip strap. Uh, so in the V1, there's an integrated hip strap, which comes out from the side pockets here. So on the side, you can actually pull the strip strap out like this, and it's basically integrated into the bag. And there's one on the on this side as well. For the V2, this actually doesn't exist anymore. So there's no integrated hip strap anymore. There is no, you know, pass through here. It's it's a sealed cloth. It's an elastic cloth, but it's sealed. Uh, if you do want like a, a hip strap, you have to buy that separately. So if you do use this bag for maybe hiking purposes, the V1 might be better because it does come with a strap, whereas this one does not. So the V2 doesn't come with the waist strap, but what it does come with is extra little external carry um, tie downs. So it comes with four of these, two long ones and two short ones. Now on the V1, it only comes with two of these ropes uh, and they're already secured in the front of the bag. So if you're familiar with uh, the Peak Design backpack, there is a little compartment here, which is held down magnetically. On the V1, these are already installed for you. They're basically tied down into the the little loop in here and there's two of them so you can pull them out like so and then tie them to the various loops across the bag to do some external carry so if you're carrying maybe a sleeping bag or something you can put it here and then use this to tie it down now on the v2 uh, these weren't installed for me uh, but they did give you four of them uh, they were actually inside the bag so I've, I've installed two already so i'll show you how that was done so on the v2 again there is a magnetic uh, kind of compartment in here and you can just loop them or hook them onto the loop inside here. Uh, the rope is a bit different, like it uses these plastic hooks, but the idea is the same. Uh, it has an extra, gives you a bit of rope and then you can hook it onto the other loops around the bag as well. So again, sleeping bag could be here. You could loop this across as well. Apart from the differences in the straps and the number of straps that it comes with, another thing I noticed is the V2 seems to be slightly thicker than the V1. So that means you could potentially, even though they're both 20 liter bags, you could potentially fit a little bit more uh, in this V2 version. Now let's dive into the laptop compartment because that might explain why this appears to be a bit thicker. So on the V1, the laptop compartment is at the top here. So this single zipper, you pull it across and then you get, firstly, you get a little kind of pouch area. So you could put maybe your glasses, maybe a pen or something in here. Uh, I use this compartment quite a lot. I chuck in some, you know, wide headphones and little random, you know, adapters and stuff in there that I use quite often. And on the other side, we have the main laptop compartment. And then next to that, there's this section up here, which is the tablet compartment. So you could theoretically put a 15 inch laptop and a tablet inside. Now I have tried that. It gets super tight. Uh, it doesn't fit very well and I wouldn't recommend it. So moving over to the V2. So the V2, the laptop compartment is a little bit different. This zipper goes from down here all the way up and then down to the other side. So the V1 just had a really short straight zipper. So let's open this up. Now the V2, again, you get presented, you get presented with the main laptop compartment here. This is adjustable and I'll show you guys how that's adjusted in a second. After that, you get a tablet compartment and I have tested this. I've chucked in a laptop in the main laptop compartment and then a tablet in the tablet compartment and this actually fits a lot better. So that might explain why this bag seems a little bit thicker. They may have given the laptop compartment a bit more space. Now the tablet compartment is held down magnetically if you just watch that. So this little flap here separates the laptop compartment from the tablet one and it's attached magnetically. Now on top of that is that little pouch area. So this pouch area here it's just as big as the V1, but what they've done is they've added additional pockets 
here on this either side. So there's two additional pockets. So that gives you a little bit uh, of better, you know, management instead of having one giant space here. You can actually put some stuff on the side here, which is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to demonstrate the new laptop compartment that the V2 has. Now it's gonna be quite difficult because everything is held down by a Velcro. Um, so the idea behind this laptop compartment, which is a bit different from the other one, is that the laptop, when you insert it, goes down the back of the, the backpack and it's actually suspended uh, so that the bottom of the laptop isn't actually reaching the bottom of the backpack. And how that works is there is kind of like a loop system which basically creates a pocket somewhere up here and you can adjust how deep that is. So if you only have a 13 inch laptop, for example, you can make that pocket less deep. So that way there's you know more of a cushion if you do drop your laptop on the floor. And to adjust it, there is a Velcro system inside here. Now it's gonna be very difficult for me to show you because uh, it's in the bag, but I'll do my best. So you see this little arrow there. What you do is on the arrow, you rip it up. After you rip it up, inside, uh, I will try and demonstrate here. Inside, you'll see there's markings for a 13 inch, and then further down there is a 15 inch uh, marking there. So what you do is this piece, you can actually lift that up. It's just stuck down by Velcro, and you can move it further down or pull it further up, and that changes how deep that pocket is. So right now I have it in the 15 inch configuration, and I'm gonna keep it like that because I do have a 15 inch laptop, and that works quite well for me. Moving to the inside of the bag, the first thing I noticed that is different is that the side pockets here, the side flaps here, don't open as wide as the V1. Now that might be because of uh, this zipper, it doesn't go as far down, or maybe they changed the zipper type they used, but it's still good enough. I mean, you could apply some pressure and open it all the way. The next thing I noticed was on the inside uh, of the V2, the, they have changed these, uh, these shelves a little bit. So they actually added a marker for the middle, which is extremely useful because before when you were putting this inside the backpack, it was really hard to tell whether you, have, you had centered this piece you know, in the middle of the backpack or not. But now that they provide this center marker, you can actually line it up with the stitching on the inside. So the center stitching looks a little bit different. I'll put this up for some more light. So as you can see, there's a center stitch there. So you could line the basically that black marker with the center line and you know that you have centered this in the middle of your backpack. For the V1, just for the V1, as you can see, there is no there's no center stitching. So it's hard, it's hard for you to know when you have properly centered it. And also on the uh, shelves themselves, there's no center marker here either. So centering this was a little bit hard. But both bags still have what they call the secret compartment, which is basically here. So underneath the these the mag latch, you know, latches, there is a compartment which is held down magnetically. And you can basically maybe put your passport or something in here and then it will just close. And it's it's hard to see, right? If you have the bag open, it just looks like it's part of the bag. But if you lift it up, it's a little pocket. So they have the same thing on the V2. So the V2 is here. Let's lift this up. So the V2, there's a similar thing, except this pocket is not as secret. So this, this is actually where they they kept all the extra, you know, tie hooks. Uh, this is actually now an kind of like an expandable elastic pocket, so you could potentially put more things in here. Okay, the last thing that I noticed that was different, again on the inside, is the side flaps. So they have actually changed this side panel quite a lot. So they've definitely uh, stripped it down. They've simplified it a lot. On the original, which I have here, on the original. Uh, all the pockets are actually behind this zip. So underneath I have a whole bunch of random cables. But underneath the cables, uh, you have these pockets that help you organize stuff. So you could put you know, a pen uh, or whatever. I have some dip balm here. But what I like about the old system or the old V1 is that if I have lots of random cables that don't fit inside the organized pockets, I can just shove them there, zip this up, and the rest of the bag is still clean. On the new one, that is no longer an option, or it's less of an option, because now we have pockets up here, so there's one big pocket up here. I mean, held down magnetically, which is great, but one pocket here, which spans about half the bag, and then down here, 
a zipper which spans about the other half of the bag. So that means if I do have a longer HDMI cable, either I have to shove it down here, which is possible because this expands, but it's no longer as clean as before. Before I could maybe, you know, curl it up so that it's, it's taking up the entire, you know, bag space and then just close that off. But it's no longer possible on this one. But I guess it is a bit more clean uh, and decluttered. These backpacks are not cheap. They are very expensive. This one in Australia cost me over $400 to get it sent here after tax and all that, all that stuff. So you're thinking expensive backpacks here. Uh, and for that kind of price, you expect it to be, you know, pretty, pretty good quality. Uh, fit and finish should be pretty damn good. Um, but immediately after I looked at the backpack, I already saw some issues. Uh, they're not major issues, but firstly, this is not symmetrical. So you see here, this, uh, side pocket goes up to about here. This side pocket is about a centimeter lower. So symmetrical, not quite. Uh, and on my V1, this is even worse. As you can see, as it's standing there, the whole bag is kind of wonky. So again, their craftsmanship is not quite there. So for whatever reason, you know, they, they made the bag slightly skewed to the right. Didn't affect the functionality, it was fine, it worked fine. I've used this for many years and it's, you know, it's still holding up very well. Uh, the V2 is a little bit better, but again, sample size of one. Your experience might be a little bit different than mine, so just be aware that you know, there are variances you know, between different bags and so on. The last thing I wanna talk about is this strap. The strap management on these bags is not quite there yet. So I had, I had these rubber bands holding down the straps to make the bag look a bit cleaner. But once you take them off, this is what it looks like. So when you're walking around, these straps will just be dangling underneath your arms, flapping around in the wind. So I hated that so much. What I ha ended up having to do was, on my V1, this was the same thing. I had to get these elastic pieces and sew them on so that it would hold these flaps down for me. Now, I'm very disappointed that Peak Design didn't include that on V2. Uh, if they did, the bag would be basically perfect. Um, so I'm guessing I have to do that same mod for my V2 bag as well. I'm super annoyed with these flappy things. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope this was useful. And if you are thinking about getting a V2 and if you already have a V1, might not be worth it. Um, but if you don't have this bag at all and you are considering a multi-purpose tech backpack, uh, whether it's for camera gear or not, I would highly recommend this uh, Peak Design Everyday Backpack V2. Thanks for watching.